McDaniel College's football team went into transition mode back in June when head coach Demarcus White left his post after three seasons and offensive line coach David Sarton assumed the interim head coach position. The Green Terror didn't have a lot of time to get adjusted to the new front man, but Sarton took over having a quarter century worth of college football coaching experience. Part of that run including being part of national championships at Grand Valley State and Mount Union. Now Sarton is leading the Green Terror into battle each week. McDaniel is 0-3 to start the 2023 season, but their new coach said he's proud of how the players and staff have handled the change at the top. Uh, they've been probably every emotion that you can imagine, excited, nervous, antsy, you know, can I do this, what will happen, and the best thing that happened was we got to camp, because then it kind of came a little bit second nature, you kind of knew what, knew what to expect. What we accomplished in two months should really take six. I mean, we got an all-star cat, all-star staff here, you know, nine coaches now, we got graduate assistants. I mean, we just got a lot done in two months with the help of everybody on this campus. Uh, I would say it's been like really like good. Like we we all, it's all like one of this team. We've been working hard and you know, it's been it's been a tough little weeks that we've been going through, but we still gonna bounce back. We, we work hard at practice every day. So every time we work off, like work hard, it pays off. And Kosari, he's been doing an amazing job since he's been here, so yeah. The Centennial Conference had its bye week after week three, so the Terror get two weeks to get ready for Gettysburg on September 30th. Leading the way on offense is grad student and running back Trent Gaskins, who averages more than five yards per carry and has close to 100 receiving yards so far. Senior Jevin Tranquillo leads the team on defense with 22 tackles and three sacks, and the squad has six takeaways as a whole. But McDaniel is allowing 39 points per game, something that doesn't bode well with opponents such as Muhlenberg and Dickinson coming up in the next few weeks. Gaskin said the team's unity can go a long way toward the Green Terror getting back on track. I think all the strengths that we have is like we like we're able to fight. Like we're able to fight every quarter. We're not giving up no matter what. Um, even all the positions that we have is loaded with like a lot of talent in there. So we have a lot of talent at every position and everybody contributes as one. So we just stay together and keep the course and we, we definitely can come out with the win. Sarton played his college football at Story Mount Union and was part of two national titles as a member of the Purple Raiders. As a coach, he has helped four different schools make a combined six NCAA playoff appearances. He brings energy to McDaniel's sideline, and a longtime coach said that's not going to change with the Green Terror looking to turn things around in a hurry. Oh, absolutely, because we're all about celebrating the positives. And really, when you look at football, good teams, you know, they kind of carry each other when they have to. We had a bad fumble against Rowan, and the defense went out and got an awesome three and out. You know, we got, you know, a great turnover by the defense, and the offense went back and scored. And sometimes when you're rebuilding, getting these kids to understand that there are positives outside of the scoreboard. Um, every Sunday we like to list the things that we're going to celebrate from the game and I mean in the past three weeks we've had 20, 25 different positives that maybe the scoreboard doesn't, doesn't reflect. Here we go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Want more local sports coverage? Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.